if you're new to OmniFocus, the app itself and all of the resources out there on how to use it can be super overwhelming. I know. My name is Peter Uckies and I teach an online course on how to use OmniFocus. I also work with people one-on-one -on -one to teach them how to use OmniFocus. And what's the number one pitfall that I see for people who are new? Everything is just really overwhelming. And I get that. That's why I have the course. That's why I work with people to help people set up a system that works for them. But what if you find even that really overwhelming? What if you want to get started really fast? That's what I'm going to help you do in this video. I don't know exactly how many minutes it's going to be. I'm guessing 10 to 15, but I'll know after we finish recording. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you a really, really, really simple setup and workflow that you can use to start getting stuff done with OmniFocus. It's the foundation that you can then build on. I highly recommend that after this video, you go check out my course. So that's the link to that is in the description of the video. But for now, let's get started and just start setting stuff up. All right, first question. How do you get your tasks into OmniFocus? If you're in the inbox up here on the left, all you got to do is Command N and start typing some things. So whenever you think of a task, put it in OmniFocus right away. Don't worry about organization for now. Just get the task into OmniFocus out of your head. So for example, buy groceries. Boom. Or you may be working on something and then you think, oh, I'm supposed to email Bob about that other thing. Email Bob regarding the other thing. Just add stuff to OmniFocus as soon as you think of it. You can add tasks right here to the inbox, or you can hit control option space. Again, that's control option space, and this window will pop up. This is the quick entry window. And you can start typing here, test, test, and hit save as well. And that task will get added to your inbox. Okay, so that's adding tasks to OmniFocus. Now, of course, in a task manager, you wanna organize your tasks, and OmniFocus is based around projects. So you wanna make sure that you set up some projects. So go over here to the projects perspective, okay? I want you to do a few things. First of all, click the plus button here on the bottom left. Click new folder. We have a new folder here. I'm gonna call it personal, okay? Again, click away, then click in the plus button over here, new folder. Call it work. All right, now we've got personal and work, okay? These are folders. We're gonna add some projects as well. I'm gonna go ahead and right click personal and click new project. And this new project, I'm gonna open up the inspector here by clicking at the top right button, okay? I'm gonna click this new project. I'm going to call it um, admin. I'm going to give that, I'm going to click this button over here to change the project type from parallel to single action. Okay, now I've got an admin project over here, okay? I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to click uh, new project, single action. I'm going to call it home, okay? It's a single action list again. Under work, I'm also going to create a project called admin, and I'm going to create a project called other, let's just keep it at other. I'm gonna make this a single action list. I'm gonna make this a single action list as well. Okay, so now I've got two folders, personal and work. And the folder personal has a single action list called admin, a single action list called home. And the work folder has a single action list called admin and a single action list called other. Now when I add a task to OmniFocus, I gotta think, is this a personal task or is this a work task? If it's a personal task, is it admin or is it not? Let's add a let's add an other here as well. Other project. Single action list again. Okay. So let's add a task. All right. I want to vacuum the house. So I'm going to go over to the inbox. I'm going to say vacuum the house. That's personal. That's not a work thing. So I'm going to click over here and project. And I start typing personal. And when I start typing personal, OmniFocus will suggest something. I'll say personal. I can choose personal admin, home, or other. You can just use the key on my key, keys on my keyboard to cycle through these. This is clearly a home task. Okay, I'm going to assign it to home, hit enter, and hit enter again. Then I'm going to go to projects, take a look at my home project. There it is, vacuum the house. Okay, so we've got this really, really simple setup. Personal folder, work folder, and some single action lists. Now in OmniFocus, you can start working with projects. That's a whole different topic. I don't want to get into that today. Right? I just want to get into organizing your tasks really simply like this. This does not make use of all of the amazing features that OmniFocus has, right? This is not a very sophisticated system. You can probably do this in other task managers as well, but it's a great place to get started. And what I'm teaching you today, if you start using this for a while, you'll find that you run into a, a time where you think, hmm, my lists are getting a little bit long. Then you can tweak your organization, tweak your setup, add some more projects, not just single action lists, but other types of projects. And if you want to learn how to do that, again, go check out my course. But for today, I just want to keep it really simple just to get you started, okay? Right. So this is our folder and project setup. Next thing I want to do is talk about due dates. 
Let's say you've got some family visiting and they're visiting on Thursday. You want to make sure that you vacuum the house before they visit. Okay, so you want to have the house vacuumed by Wednesday. Now let's assign a due date. Click the task and click the no due date thing here. It becomes a field that you can type. Just type Wednesday. Hit enter. Boom. Now the task is due. Well, it's Tuesday today for me, so the task is due tomorrow. Okay, so that's how you assign a due date. Now I want to make it real clear. Assign due dates only for things that, you know, have pretty serious consequences, right? So vacuuming the house, hmm, you really like to do this before your family visits. But, you know, try not to have too many of these tasks where you assign due dates, right? So, for example, um, let's say that there is an email you would like to send today. But nothing bad will happen if you don't send it today, right? Do not, do not assign a due date in that case. Because what often happens, I see this with so many people, they assign due dates to all sorts of projects when the due dates are not really necessary. And then they miss the deadlines and their OmniFocus will start saying, oh, you missed lots of deadlines and you start feeling bad. So this is why I like to say, assign due dates to tasks where if you don't do them, there's consequences, right? Or serious enough consequences. So don't use due dates to signify intent. We'll talk about what to do to make a list of things that you would like to work on today. But use due dates only when there's a consequence. So if your house is really gross and your family is visiting, you probably want to vacuum it because otherwise they're going to comment on it, right? Okay. <laughs> but if there's an email that you could send today, you could send tomorrow, whatever you'd like to do today, do not use a due date. We'll talk about what to do instead. So that's how you assign a due date in OmniFocus. Now, let's talk about intent. You've got an email. You would love to send it today. If I go to the inbox, I can say, I want to email Bob about the other thing. I'd like to do this today. Okay, but um, if I don't do it today, it's not the end of the world. I certainly don't want to put a due date for today because then if I don't end up getting to it today, tomorrow OmniFocus will say, oh, this task is overdue and it'll just alarm me unnecessarily. And it will dilute the value of what it means for something to be due. So I'll be training myself to ignore due dates and we don't want to do that. We want due dates to be something serious that we respect. So first, let's go ahead and assign this to our work uh, other project. Hit enter. Go to the projects perspective, go to work folder, other single action list. Here's that task again. Now we'd like to do this today. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to use a tag and I'm going to call this the next tag. I'm going to go over here and click this tag field. I'm going to start typing next. Now I already have a next tag so I can just hit enter, but you're going to have to hit command enter. So hit command enter and it will create that tag. Now this task has a tag called next. What does that do? It means it signifies that we intend to work on this next. And this is something that I love. We're going to work out of the forecast view. This is going to be how you end up using OmniFocus. You're going to work out of this perspective called forecast. This is going to tell you what you want to do today. Now what you'll see in this forecast view is you see a little calendar on the left and days over here in the main screen. So here's today, here's tomorrow, here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, and what you'll see is tomorrow vacuum the house is due. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We said family coming on Thursday, so we want to vacuum the house, you know, tomorrow at the latest. And OmniFocus reminds us of this because we set the due date. We also said we want to email Bob about the other thing. And I assigned a next tag, and now it shows up here. Why is that? It's not due today, so why is OmniFocus showing this? Well, if I go click on the, the eye icon over here, I use this particular feature called today shows items with this tag. And I type next. So for you, you can just go ahead and start typing next here and pick that tag and then hit enter. Now your today part of the forecast perspective will not only show things that are due today. So in this case, this is tomorrow. So it'll show tasks due tomorrow. But let's say if this were due today, I could type today. See, today shows items that are due today, among which is vacuum the house. But it also shows things that we intend to work on today because we assigned it a next tag. So when you're planning your day in the morning or the night before, you can take a look at what's due tomorrow, but also what would I like to work on tomorrow. So what's due tomorrow will have due dates. And what you'd like to work on tomorrow, just go over all of those tasks and assign that next tag. So for example, um, if I would also like to buy groceries uh, today, I can assign the next tag. So I'm going to type next. And buying groceries, by the way, is a personal home task. Go back to the forecast perspective. Buy groceries also shows here. So the, these do are my tasks that I have to get done today or else there'll be consequences. The family will be mad, right? These are things that I would like to do today, but it's not the end of the world if I don't do them today. 
This is the simplest OmniFocus setup that I can teach you. Personal folder, work folder, couple of single action lists, the next tag, set up the next tag with the I right here, and have your do tasks and your intent to work on today, your next tag tasks showing up here. And that's the basic setup for OmniFocus. From here, there is so many ways you can go. And again, I highly recommend that you go check out my video course and I'll walk you through it step by step on how to make better use of OmniFocus, how to use more projects, not just these single action lists, but this is the basics of it. If you're doing this consistently, you know, compared with not managing your tasks at all, you're already going to see a huge benefit, okay? So these are five steps. There's one last thing that is really important. You've got the setup done now, but you want to make sure that you review your tasks and your projects. Reviewing is such a key part of any task management system, including OmniFocus. Every week or so, review all your tasks and projects. Ask yourself, are these still relevant? Oh, have I actually completed these, but not marked them as complete in OmniFocus, right? Uh, are there any new tasks that I haven't entered into the system yet? Are any tasks, um, have they changed or anything like that? So just go over the whole list and make sure it's up to date. Make sure that what's in your OmniFocus reflects reality. So this is called a weekly review if you do it once a week, and I highly recommend doing it once a week. Now to help you do this, I created a free cheat sheet, which walks you through the nine steps that are involved in a weekly review. So if you wanna get that cheat sheet, just go to the description of the video, and in the description of the video, I'll have a link to where you can download that free cheat sheet on how to do a weekly review, which is the next step to developing your OmniFocus workflow. So with that said, if you like this video, please give it a like. I would also love it if you subscribe to the channel and do check out that free cheat sheet and the course, the links to which are in the description of this video. Hope you found this really helpful. May you be very productive and have a nice day.